Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Felix featuring the Live Five Channel. Today here, today people, take. I'm back with Digimon Cyber Sleuth Baby for you, and um, I know been kind of on a hiatus lately, but it's okay, it's okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're gonna go on a journey today. Now we're in Shinjuku right now. Um, homegirl told us to go to Shinjuku. There's a little issue out there. We have to abide by it. We have to finish it. But if you like this content and more content in the future, my brothers, my sisters, my subscribers, and people that are watching, boys and girls all over the nation, make sure you hit that like button down below, because we be very appreciative. Thank you very much. And let's start. I feel like something is out to kill. A case came from Detective Mariyoshi. Hurry up and come, come, what? You felt something ominous in the air just now? Since when have you been so superstitious? It's not, probably nothing. Just get back here so we can get our work already. Cool. Seems like there's a new case to investigate. Being a detective is awesome. My team such as mine? <laughs> Amazing. We are going to be mighty. You understand me? Mighty. Oh, hold on. How to get out? How to get out? Oh, there we go. Go back to Nakano. But last episode, we uh, we 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 went to some food places with our friends. That was really nice. I mean, it was really compatible. But now we get into the real missions. Here we go. Come back. So labyrinth in Shinjuku. So we have the time. What? One case is added. Matiyoshi. Invisible Slasher. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is dangerous. There's been a string of some real oddball incidents lately out in Shinjuku. Cars, trees, buildings, exteriors. They're all getting sliced up with clean cuts, too. Like someone took a real sharp knife to them. <laughs> Thankfully, nobody has actually gotten hurt this thus far. Right now, it's just a case of trying to curb vandalism we're dealing with here. But it's heavy-duty stuff getting damaged here. Imagine if people start getting targeted somewhere, such so as Shinjuku. It'll be a real problem. As long as we don't know who's behind this, we can't predict what'll be next. And the police can hardly be bothered to get off their asses. And... Like, this'll help us. It's after the last incident. I see where this is going. Alright, we'll check it out for you. Look at her like, computer work, so slender, so sleek, mm, so sexy. I've been hacked into. I mean, I I've politely borrowed access to the security camera in Shinjuku so we could check out what what has been recorded. I don't see anything. I damn well don't hear anything right now either. Doesn't look like I can find any of the actual crime scenes, though I'd wager that you've already checked on this much yourself. <laughs> There's really nothing left on here, huh? Oh hee hee, I just found something interesting. Here's my trusty assistant from just a little while ago. Let's take a look. Walk, 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 walk. I felt something strange in my ear. Wait, what was that flash of light just now? Hmm, we just might have a real life Kamatachi on our hands. You probably heard about them before in folk tales, right? Kamatachi are weasel spirits with claws as sharp as a sickle. To hear the stories tell it, they attack people by appearing inside of a sudden whirlwind, cutting their victim's skin sharply in its wake. Wait a minute, bitch. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And by the way, these probably would be better in Japanese, like, th how they say it. Because me saying this in English, like weasels killing people, it would sound better as in, Go, karatoshi na, shinko. You know, something like that. Not trying to be racist at all, but it'll sound better like that. Let me check that. Mm-hmm. Gonna keep this. Alright. Alright, here we go. Back in what probably really happens is when people's skin get really dry, it could get cut up by small rocks blowing in the wind. Or so we thought. Looking at this footage, I think it's safe to say there's no ordinary gust of wind. Knowing that there could be an actual Kamatachi on the loose in Shinjuku. Hmm. Putting fairy tales aside for the moment, what do we know is the light reflected off something? Maybe the wind somehow will bleed. 
or maybe something else entirely. Who knows, but that light definitely skimmed really close to your head there in that footage. If you hadn't felt anything ominous back there, we might not have seen your head pop off your shoulder. <laughs> but no, I couldn't be killed, I'm cybernetic. Huh, better stay sharp. You can only stay, stay lucky for so long, you know? My phone likes to vibrate so loud. Can it be anything else? Head back to Shinjuku and investigate the surrounding area. Detective Matayoshi and I will stay here and analyze the footage some more. Is those shorts? Are those short shorts? How dare you? Okay. Let's see. Investigate means you're looking for case items, right? Well, I'll try my best. It may be tough, but do your best, goblin mine. Better do your best. I told you to, you punk. Head out. Head out to Shinjuku. And defeat that Digimon who's has a sharp sickle weasel. Sharp sickle weasel? I wish they would have like markers on where to go. Like Kingdom Heart should. Not just not bitching, just letting just letting it be known, you know. What is this? There's a thin line coursing through here that might be a burn mark. Wait, a burn mark? You found a burn spot, you say? Hmm. Anything else of note you found there? What's wrong? Does something feel off again? A sudden, a flash of sunlight reflected off a window and blinded you, hmm? That's weird. Huh, looks like you froze KO for the time being. Oh wait, there she goes, she's moving again. Guess she's looking something up. Ha, when she's like this, she's lost in her own world. No point in trying to talk to her. Looks like she'll be at it for a while. I hate ordering you around since you don't work for me. But would you mind looking around for some clues for us? We've had a lot of reports about this phenomenon coming to the police department, so there could be definitely be something left to find. These voices may change due to, you know, my voice modulating on and off. Just looking for more clues. There's another one of those burn marks on the sidewalk here. Hmm. I wonder if I can connect jump through those. You think, guys? You think? <laughs> I wonder if I could connect jump. Is that ominous feeling? It's back. Huh? What is it? Oh. Is that the best you've got? You're gonna kill me? Do it. Do it now. Hey, it's me. I figured out what's going on. The culprit, whoever they are, is using the reflections to their advantage. Have you ever heard of the walkie-talkie building? It's a super tall skyscraper in London that was at the center of a very bizarre incident. Basically, there were cars parked nearby and mysteriously had parts of them melted and warped. <laughs> the cause of it was the building's windows. The panes were installed in such a way that they reflected a sunbeam potent enough to damage the cars. In this instance, though, we're not dealing with sun rays. Judging from the flash of light and those burn marks you found, we're probably dealing with lasers here. Lasers? Hello? But this isn't your ordinary laser pointer we're talking about. Only weapon grade lasers could leave such deep burns. The question is how someone managed to set them up all over Shinjuku and fire them off without people spotting them. There hasn't been any big power surge in the area. Maybe could there be batteries? No wait, the digital wave regions are fluctuating weirdly. Don't tell me they're using the digital waves as a substitute for microwaves and an impromptu maser. If that's the case then. Hey, think you could trust in my deductions and your good luck to pull us through? Uh, uh. Of course. I like that attitude. Then here's the deal. The culprit aiming that laser at you using every reflective surface in the area. We're going to use that to our advantage. The fact that a laser is bouncing around towards you means we can trace it back to its origin point. Good. To do that, you need to get in the line of fire, but you have to time it well or you'll have a hole burnt right through your skull. Do you get what I'm asking here? As soon as the laser's got you, I want you to connect jump into it and dive inside. <laughs> if you think he's correct, a laser is a type of digital wave. 
If it's the incident become beam light hits something, it forms a connection with the origin point and establish a phone network of sorts. That's what should make it possible for you to connect jump into it. I know it sounds crazy, but you're easily the luckiest person I've ever known. You could do it. Trust yourself and tackle this head on. Just concentrate. If anyone could do this, it's you. I'm ready. Connect jump! I told you I could think I could connect jump through here. Bertramons? Bertramons here? What? Bertramons? Ooh, Bertramon. He's about to catch the finest of this word. Catch this. Here we go. Go. Work a room on. Magna Angelmon. It's the combo attack of the nation. Bam. Ooh, hello. You're gonna die. Oh, you're gonna die. Alright, here we go. Boom, doo -doo -doo. All right, we should get out of here soon. Hopefully we didn't get caught in the digital network. What the heck? Who are you? How did you find me here? Are you some army goon trying to take me back? Um, no, I'm here to kill you. You're not with the army. Well, I'm an optical weapon Digimon that broke out of a certain country's military. I was developed and trained to be a weapon capable of attacking the real world directly from cyberspace, but I hated it. I hated being worthless to them for any other purpose aside from that. And I hated everyone in the army who tries to treat me like a weapon. Hoo-ha! So I ran away. But I don't understand. You're wondering why I was attacking the city. I was just practicing my techniques over the network to find something else I could do. That's all. Hoo-ha! So my lasers were shooting out into the real world without me even realizing it. Sorry about that. Try all I might, no matter how much I run away, I'm really just a mean old weapon in the end. Aw, tank mode. Yeah, I'm wrong. Cause if I was a real weapon, there would be even casualties. <laughs> You're really some... Hey, are you okay? You look alright. I'm so relieved to see you again, Detective Mariushi. If someone had happened to you, it would have made me look terrible as a detective. So I'm glad to see you're okay. Detective? I knew it. You lied to me. You're really a government dog. Catch this work. I'll make you pay for this, you two-faced scumbag. Hoo-ha. If you're so desperate to make me a weapon again, then I'll give you what you want and then some. Take this. Yeah. Tank mine if you don't get your ratchet ass. Hyper cannon! Aww, that's a cute little attack you did there. Catch this word. Black tornado. Yeah. Catch this full moon kick. And you're done, tank mine. We defeated you so easily, like you were nothing. Cause you are nothing. Take this work. That's that's enough. I get it. I'm not the one that wiped to be fired off. I know that after fighting with you. If it is a life I have to leave, then I wish I'd never been created. I'm so sorry, Tankmon. So it's program Digimon made by a foreign military, huh? I'm sorry I interrupted your conversation then. Guess it gummed up the works real bad when you won him over. It's okay. Hmm. Still at least to put a try to stop these things, even if it ended up poorly. It really did. Now it's become a serious situation. I mean, I'm not the only one did you find top secret military weapon. You also well destroyed it. If you're not careful here, this could turn into an international incident that even threatens our security treaty with that country. Just when Japan finally got them to move their bases to, that could deal with vanishing the thin air because of it. Oh, don't think of any of this as your fault. Even if you were to lead to World War III taking place, you shouldn't feel guilty. What the fuck? World War III? Oh, Kyle, okay. oh, I didn't know you'd be better. I think you'd actually be in serious. <laughs> but I really am. When am I not? Anyway, Lady Luck must be really taking a shine to you. Tell you the truth, there's actually one other thing that Flash Light could have been. See, if it hadn't been normal Mazer, could have said been a phonon Mazer, or wouldn't be standing here talking to us right now. Hello? A phonon Mazer? <laughs> Or a photon maser, you probably messed that up a little bit. I don't know these things. I don't know these things. 
That's how it functioning. However, there was also the possibility that instead of microwaves being substituted, that it could have been ultrasonic waves. Rather than around photons, phonon masers, like the name implies, relies on amphotons and phonons. Which make their properties fundamentally different. You know what? Hey, Google. Hold on. What are phonons? What are phonons? Phonon, a quantum of energy or quasiparticle associated with a compression wave such as the sound or vibration of a crystal lattice. Huh. That ain't bad. It originated in the 1960s. 1960s. 2010. Great. If you've been facing a phonon maser back there, probably wouldn't have been able to use a normal network line like connect jump. <laughs> now do you get how lucky you are? Oh, you did some great work out there today, kiddo. But for the youth in the first place, so keep it up. <laughs> Alright, I finished the quest farm to investigate command complete, found two cases. I agree with the detective Matioshi said. So it's back to your work, kiddo. You're nice.